Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at the new Start as well as Recent Files workspace, the new interface, and the customizable toolbar in Photoshop CC. Now, when you first launch Photoshop, it displays this new Start workspace in order to help guide you to the files that you want to work with. Now, your screen might look different from what we're seeing right now because obviously you may have opened different recent files than I have. Now, by default, it's set to the grid view, but if you prefer a list view, we can go ahead and click on that icon. If you want to see any libraries that you've stored in your Libraries panel, we can click on Libraries, and if we actually select one of these libraries, it will show us the content of those libraries over here on the right-hand side. We can also choose from a variety of presets if we want to simply open a new document at any of these sizes. It might be more helpful if we actually set this to the List view. All right, if we want to open up a new document or just open a different document using the operating system, we can do so by either choosing New or Open or using the keyboard shortcuts Command N or Command O to open. Let's go ahead and open up a new document. I'll tap the Return key in order to open it. And you can see as soon as I do that, the Start workspace actually disappears and we're taken to whatever workspace or whatever state all of our panels were in the last time we were in Photoshop. As soon as I select File and then Close, you can see that we're taken back to this same Start workspace. All right, let's return to Recent Files. I'll go back to the Grid view, select the first image in order to open it. Now, let's say I want to open a second document. I'll use the keyboard shortcut Command-O in order to open it, and we can see that we're taken to our Recent Files workspace. Here we can see all of the recent files, or we could go directly to a new file or open a file. I'll go ahead and select this image in order to open it. So let's go ahead and close all of those, and we're taken back to our Start workspace. If we ever want to turn off these workspaces, we can go under the Photoshop menu, select Preferences, and then General. If you're on Windows, it would be under the Edit menu, and then General. And we can uncheck the Show Start workspace when no documents are open, and uncheck Show Recent Files workspace when opening a files. For now, I'll go ahead and leave these both on. Before we leave the Preferences, let's take a look at the Interface tab. Now, in the past, there was kind of a mismatch between the overall interface of Photoshop and the interface when you actually were in a dialog box. Now, you'll notice if I change this color theme, not only does the background area change to that theme, but also this Preference dialog box. All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave that set to this one right here. The next thing you'll notice is that Photoshop has kind of a more modern looking interface. It's a little bit flatter than it was before. You also might notice that the tabs are larger. And in fact, if I go down to the workspace area, you'll notice that there's an option for larger tabs. If you're working on a laptop or a desktop machine, you might want to disable that. But if you are working on a touch screen device, it can be really helpful to have those extra large tabs. All right, let's go ahead and click OK. I'll open up this first document here so we can take a look at the customizable toolbar. Now, depending on how you work, you might want to have all of your tools showing or you might want to selectively hide some of them. We can edit the toolbar by accessing it here at the bottom of the toolbar by clicking and holding on this last icon and then selecting Edit Toolbar. Or we could access that same option by going under the Edit menu and then choosing Toolbar. So on the left-hand side, these are going to be all the tools that remain in the toolbar, but we can drag any of the extra tools that we don't use over here to the right-hand side. So for example, if you don't use the single row marquee tool very often, we can drag and drop that into this extra tools area. I'll go ahead and do the same for the single column marquee tool, and let's go ahead and do that as well for the different lasso tools here. Now, we can also remix the tools. So for example, if I wanted to nest the lasso tools up with the marquee tools, I could just drag and drop that on top of them. I can also reorder them. So if I wanted to put this in between, I would just navigate it up a little and drop it in the proper area. Now, these tools on the right-hand side, these extra tools or the overflow tools, if you still want to access them, then make sure that this first icon is enabled, and that will show the overflow tools over here in the toolbar. We can also change the keyboard shortcut for any of these tools by just clicking on the shortcut that's already there and then typing in whatever we want. So if we want to change this to the N key, we can just tap N in order to do that. 
Now, there's one option at the bottom, this Disable Shortcuts for Hidden Toolbar Extras. What that means is, say for instance, I tap the L key because I wanted to access the Lasso tool. Well, typically I could add the Shift key and tap L again, and it would take me through any of the other tools that had that same customized keyboard shortcut. In this case, the Polygonal Lasso tool and the Magnetic Lasso tool. But because I've put those over in the Extra Tool area, and I have Disable Shortcuts for Hidden Toolbar Extras turned on, I won't cycle through those tools. All right, once you've set this up the way you like it, you can save these presets and you can load presets. And in fact, when I click Done, after I've arranged all of my palettes and my toolbars, if I want to save those all in a single workspace, you'll notice that when I choose New Workspace here, I can save not only the keyboard shortcuts and the menus, but also the toolbar. So there you go, a quick overview of the Start and Recent Files workspace, the new user interface in Photoshop, and the customizable toolbar. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.